Hi everybody, it's Faith from Creative Bug coming at you live like we do every Tuesday and Thursday with special guest and friend of the family, Marley Bird. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well after Thanksgiving. I know, I'm recovering. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it feels a little crazy, like last week was nuts because it was planning for Thanksgiving, making sure work was done, ready to come yeah. out here, and now I feel like this week is just flying by. Even though it's Tuesday, it feels like it should be like Friday, like it's just... I forgot to tell you what I did with my entire Sunday what? from 9 in the morning until 9 in the evening. What'd you do? Knit. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> and it's so hard. <laughs> I did that pretty much all of Thanksgiving break because I had yeah? yeah, I had this really great idea. Well, you know I love wearing hats. I mean, you guys probably notice that I wear hats all the time. Yes. And um, I, I designed a brim of a hat that uses slip stitch for crochet and it makes the hat, like you don't need cardboard or anything. Oh, it's really? Like, yeah, it's great. But knitters have been asking for one, so then I've been working for the last week on a knitted version. So I've been Brilliant. messing around with that. So I spent a lot of time doing that. Yeah, I made seven hats. Seven hats. I yes. just made one shawl, and I was seven all hats. proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, so it's been hats. nuts. It's been nuts. I hope been you have d dwarves. Well, I have testers that are it's testing it now. No, but, but like Sleeping Beauty and the seven. Oh, earth. seven dwarves. Snow White. Snow White and the seven dwarves. <laughs> Not Sleeping Beauty. I, I know what you meant. Disney. But no, Hats. I just, I don't know, we were just working and... This is also a, a stitch and chat. <laughs> so get your knitting project, come join us and hang out. Don't forget we are live, so feel free to ask questions. Oh, also... I was going to ask you. About how special today is? Yes, I was. <laughs> I was going to try and segue you, but you did it you're all, all by yourself. First I messed up my <laughs> Disney, and then I almost forgot. That's okay. Um, so Giving Tuesday is... Um, a really special day for us because you might not know, but Creative Bug supports local arts, um, a couple of different organizations, and they're very special, and we contribute money to them. And we have this special promotion going on where you can get three months of Creative Bug for one dollar, and that dollar goes straight to these organizations. So, in the honor of Giving Tuesday, um, we're giving away all the contributions we're getting for people signing up for three months for one dollar. Which is a crazy good deal. That's a great deal. There right? are some awesome, awesome classes here on Creative Bug. Whether you're a knitter, crocheter, a quilter, into I'm, I'm going to call it fine arts, but you know sure. some of the stuff that Courtney does. And I mean, it's just amazing. There's a little bit of everything for you. And the way you guys photograph it and present it, and the teachers are so knowledgeable. Like it really is wonderful. You feel like you're sitting there with a friend it's showing true. you how to do something. If we're a buck, I mean, that's that's fantastic. Yeah. It's and the dollar goes to help arts organizations. Yes. So if you um, if you are a Creative Bug member, feel free to share in the comments um, your thoughts on Creative Bug. And um, if you're not, get on board. Yes, come and join the fun. Or for the meantime, get your knitting projects and stitch and chat along with us. Yes. Today, Marley is showing us a new ish yarn from Red yes. Heart. Yes. It's so beautiful. I love this yarn. So, we are going to talk about Red Heart Colorscape yarn today. And we did talk about this a little bit last time when we were talking about the, the lookbook that we were going through. And because there are so many different colors in this yarn, and it's just been really going very well for us. People are really responding to it. Um, we thought we would bring it and focus it on it a little bit today and just sure. kind of just highlight it a bit. So Red Heart Colorscape is a 100% acrylic yarn and the colors will subtly transition from one to the next and it sort of looks like a painting, mm -hmm. like, um, like a really nice colorscape, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can see that the, as they transition in this piece, it looks like it's all stripes, but mm -hmm. you know, if, if you're working on something else, let's just say it was this one, the colors, when they get all worked together, you really let the yarn do all the work mm -hmm. for you. You don't have to do a whole lot of extra really work. Pretty. It's a um, thicker yarn. It's a four weight yarn, but it's a thick four weight yarn, mm -hmm. okay? It has a little bit of a halo to it. As you're working with it, it just feels really good. Um, I have not found a color that I don't like when I'm working with this, and I, I don't get tired of my project because mm -hmm. I want to see what the next color is going to mm -hmm. look like. And so I've had a lot of fun working on projects with this, both um, personally and then doing videos for Red Heart. And it's just, it's just a wonderful yarn. And it's all a little bit, like this looks like a rainbow. Yes. But Isn't that cool? It's like a mellow rainbow. 
I think it's awesome. It's like a chill rainbow. I love it. And then the names of all of the colors are great. So like this, this colorway is called Rome, and it's just a real subtle sort of colors mm -hmm. going on there. And then this one is Dublin, the purples and the greens. Stunning. And, but remember last time I was talking about how you combine two colors yeah. and, and how you can get a completely different look by, um, you know, two long color changing mm -hmm. yarns. And so we talked a little bit about that, but it's just, it's fun. It's a really, it's a really fun and great yarn to work with. You know, sometimes I wish I had a knitting group. I don't have a knitting group. If there's anyone who wants me to be in their knitting group, please invite me. I will <laughs> definitely attend. That and baby showers. I love. I love participating. Obviously, I am a participator. And parades. Anyway, we could go on for a long time about things I love doing. But you were working on a project last time you came here. I did. And yes. now you finished it. So that yeah. was all to say, I feel like we are in a knitting group. Oh, because we're in a knitting group because yeah, we finished. Yeah, you show me every month yeah. your new project. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. I love it. Yeah, last time I was working on the shifting stripe shawl here, and if you remember, I showed you how to do the, what I call the standing double crochet. Mm -hmm. It was that way to, so you don't have to chain two, but you did something different. Um, and I decreased the number of stitches as I went along, so you kind of get this stair step mm -hmm. look on this side, but then on the opposite side of the shawl, I made it straight, so I get this asymmetrical look, mm -hmm. right? I loved the fringe. I can't stop touching it. I know, right? <laughs> it's um, really lovely. And then I added buttons at the top part, so that mm -hmm. way when you wrap it around, these bits here act as buttonholes. Awesome. So you can actually keep it around your shoulders. Awesome. As you're wearing it, it's just a it's just a unique, it's different pretty. way to wear something. But this particular piece is two really distinct colorways. If I remember correct, this is Rome, and I think it's this one. Mm, is it that one? I think probably. I think it is that one. I think it was these two. Which one is this one? Sydney. Yeah, it was these it's two. Very unexpected. You would pairing. not, right? You would not expect those to look good together. But when they put, come together, I love the finished look. But this this is my finished piece it's that awesome. I was working on last time. And it's it's lovely. It's warm. It feels good. And as you're working on it, as I said, you just can't wait to get to the next color and see mm. how it, it works up. Why well, can't knit at nighttime? I know. Right? Bed. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really difficult. Too excited. Um and then I do want to say, you know, the fringe, it held together really well. Like I was mm -hmm. worried about it because it's a little lightly spun, mm -hmm. you know, but it's held together really well. And I've worn this a couple times. So And I assume that everyone good. who sees it wants to rake their fingers through. It. Everybody, so even they want to straighten it, like you know, I, you know what I mean. Yes. Like you just want to straighten it all out. I do that in to order. my sister's hair, but she has curly hair. She's really <laughs> mad. That's funny. So yeah, this is what this is what I was working on last time, guys. It's and gorgeous. I think it's just pretty. I mean, you could have put, but I could have put buttons all the way down. I could have put buttons on that side. Like you, you don't even have to have buttons. Needs. And where can they find more information about the show? So this is actually available on my website, marleybird.com, okay. and I did a video for it also. So there's all, all the help they need. Awesome. The yarn is at Joann's. The mm -hmm. buttons are at Joann's. The, the hook you'll need is at Joann's because it's a crochet. At Everything's at Joann's. So um, yeah, there's there's no reason you cannot be successful with this piece if you choose to, to make it. But this is a really great example of if you wanted to combine two different colorways of this fun yarn, you could absolutely do that mm -hmm. without any trouble. Cool. Would you, would you like to show us some of the other beautiful yes, things you I made? Yes, I would. Is that all right? <laughs> so this piece here, this is the Wandering Cables cardigan. And this is available on Red Heart's website. It is free on their website. And I'm showing you the back of it because this is really where all the action is, right? It's business in the front, party in the back, is that what we say? Um, but you have this really great Wandering Cables just going up the center back. You know, I guess that mm -hmm. is center, right? Um, really basic construction because it's mm -hmm. drop shoulder, so you don't have to really know too much about knitting sweaters because it's mm -hmm. not fitted. It's just a large cardigan. And again, the cables are a nice feature, but if you wanted to just knit this plain, mm -hmm. you could let the yarn do all the work for you as far as the color changes and still get a really great look. And it's so cozy. I did put it on immediately. Yeah. I didn't even really take it out of the box before. <laughs> slipping, which it didn't fit all that great. I'm already wearing this <laughs> Well, the other part I really like about it is the pockets because, cool. you know, you got to love pockets. Yes. And so pockets are a lot of fun. They are not super hard to do. Um, you could even do double knit pockets if you want, but these are actually made separately and then sewn on I do believe um, so I mean it's it this is not a difficult sweater again it's free 
on Red Heart's website. Awesome. Um, and it just takes a lot of a lot of uh, Colorscape yarn in any colorway. I mean, this is a yeah, really yeah, neutral yeah. color, but this would be pretty in Rome. This would be pretty. What is this color? This is really pretty. Oh, that's magical. This is like my Paris, of course. Right? That totally fits. That it's Paris. That's beautiful. It's I would totally wear that. But, um, so yeah, this is a really cool thing. We also have a couple of other free patterns on the Red Heart website, but I don't have them here with us because they were at a show and they didn't get back in time. Ooh. One of them, though, is really cool. I think it's called the Cityscape Shawl. You can look it up on Red Heart's uh, website. But it also combines two colors of color mm -hmm. and it's a knit shawl. Um, very similar to a bias knit shawl that I, I designed myself. You know, it's just a, it's a basic garter stitch stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks really great with the long color changing yarn. Speaking of shawl design, yes. it yes. just occurred to me, because Marley has done a bunch of different classes with Creative Bug, which if you haven't already signed up, you can <laughs> sign up for three months for one dollar, <laughs> and that dollar goes towards supporting arts education, including Ruth's Table, which was um, Ruth Asawa started it, who is a local knitter who um, was very famous in San Francisco and really spectacular. And there's also, um, it, it supports a bunch of different arts education programs. You'll learn more about it on Thursday. There's Creativity Explored. There's Creativity Explored. Warm -up. There's Warm Up America. There's Arts for Oakland Kids. There's Arts for Oakland Kids. <laughs> What goes, would we do know. without Allie? So, so thank you, Allie, <laughs> for giving us a heads up. But so this one dollar um, for three months of Creative Bug Access supports arts education, and you get to see Marley Bird's classes. For example, your three-part shawl class. Gosh, I forgot about that it's one. It's good. That was one of the first ones I ever did. I know. That and people great. are watching it all the time. That's what That's I was filming thorough. when I went and bought those shoes I was telling you about earlier. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, I have the shawls. I have... Christmas stocking, um, crocheted. Yeah, entrelock, like an entrelock course. That's a hefty class. Yeah, that was when you first started. No. Yeah, I have lots of classes, but I would love for you guys to come and join the fun. And in three months, you could watch a lot of them. But she's being like humble. She's got a lot of really great classes too. You need to check out Faith's classes. They're I have some great. good ones. You do I have, have to some show good you ones. what I made in the blocking class. I would love to see what you made in the blocking but class. But I can't show you guys yet because okay. it's not time. <laughs> so you're working on something right now. Yes. You're working on a swatch I'm with this playing. yarn. Why don't you show us what it looks like and how does it feel? Since this is the first time it's you've really, really nice. worked with it, and it's really cozy. Is the fuzz too much for you? Like I think I'm okay with the fuzz. Have commented. I would probably do this on bamboo needles. Okay. Um, Just to have it stick. It, well, there's something about like, you know, if you bite a popsicle stick on accident. Uh huh. Um, that's how I usually feel with metal needles. Really? On all, I don't like metal needles. That's interesting. Bamboo. See, and I don't like bamboo. They're too slow for me. We're very different, Marley. <laughs> and yet so similar. <laughs> and yet the same person. <laughs> um, I have found it really great to work with. I, I, like, I like working it a lot. with it. Yeah, I like the feel of it as you're working with it. Um, I love to crochet with it. So this, I showed you guys this last time, I think. It's the um, it's the super simple shawlette, super simple shawl. It's just, it's super simple. Cute. It's just fillet crochet, right? Um, and then I liked making it so much, I made a bigger one. So this is one ball. So this is what one ball of colorscapes, colorscape yarn will make. Let's look at these buttons. I added buttons to make it so that it just goes on like a cowl. Mm -hmm. They have been in my stash forever, and I pulled them out. I was like, this is great. So this is what one ball of Colorscape will get you for a crocheted piece, okay? So this is just filet crochet, really simple. This is two and a little bit because oh, I ran kidding. out. No, I ran out for the border, so I had to buy another one for the border. But it's the same stitch pattern, I just did a different border. That's beautiful. It's really pretty, right? I love I like the colors. I like this uh, neon blue right yeah. here. Yeah, so I wore this the other day to the mall, I just had it on. Mm -hmm. And I had people stopping me at Nordstrom's asking me Get if out. I bought it there. They were like, did you buy that here? And I'm like, no, no. but thank you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, it was crazy. So I was like, well, fantastic. It yeah, just, yeah, yeah. it looked really nice. And it was warm and it fit just right. But um, pretty, pretty simple stuff, really great. Um, and then I was talking to you about the hats I was making. So this, yes. is, this is one of my prototypes. Okay, and like one literally, of the seven. it still has one of the seven. It still has the stitch markers in it. Um, one of them broke, of course. So this is my brim that I was messing with. Okay, so I did it on bigger needles because I wanted to get the feel of what I wanted. Mm. But I definitely want this brim tighter because it's too loose. Okay, right. So I think I want to make this knitted a little bit tighter. But I like the size of it. 
So I'm going to yeah, change yeah, yeah, the yeah, gauge yeah. that I get this size, but I want the stitches tighter. But overall, there's nothing in it. Nothing, there's nothing That's in so that. Interesting. Right? There's nothing in it. Um, I've made some where you make this first, and then you just transition this right to the hat. Roll. Yeah. And those ones, when you put it on, this wants to lay flat on the forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one I made separately, made the hat separately, uh, and then did sort of a three needle bind off yeah, join. Yeah, yeah. And so now when you That's have so it perky. on, I don't know if you can see, yeah. like it actually sticks out. So and then I'm like, okay, should I have a band there? Like I was just playing with it. Fascinating. But it it works. It, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, and yeah. this is I did double knit here. I cool. use an Italian mat or Italian cast on. And then Ooh, I worked double knit. tubular? Yeah. That's really. rough. <laughs> I thought it was pretty easy. So it's just, I don't know, but this is what I've been messing around with. Wait, which side did you start on? This down you here. You started down here? Yeah. <gasps> so this is all cast it's on. It's the best cast on. Isn't that You're good? So you would, you wouldn't, you couldn't tell. And then when you transition, you actually do short rows. You start like here, and then you increase out this way. Marley. So then what it does is it pulls this side of the brim yeah. to this side of the brim without attaching to those. So that's what gives it its little shape. So, so there's actually good. a string that goes between there, but it holds that it's shape rad. there. Right? I love it. I'm telling you, I've been playing with this stuff. But this is a good example of how the colors, again, yeah. shift. And it's just a basic stockinette, and you can let that do all the work for you. Yeah. So this hat is too big for me. I put it on my husband, and it fits him perfectly. And he was like whoa, this really, like, you did it. This really works. And I'm like, oh, he, I know. Is he going to wear it? Oh, no, he won't wear it. <laughs> He's like, that's a great prototype. Yeah. No, he would wear pink. He likes pink, but no, he won't wear it. It's a brand. It works. I don't know. I don't know. He just signature. won't wear it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's so, yeah. cool. But it's just been fun. Awesome. Yeah, it's just cool. So there you go. That's Colorscape yarn. Um, really great colors. Good variety. So there's lots of options. Yeah, I'm not done knitting. Yeah, we can do whatever we want. I want to see how many colors. All the colors. All the colors in it. Are there any questions, Allie? Yes. Yes, but one of them disappeared. <laughs> 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 yes, it was about hats. It was from a question from Jane Goodwin, and she wanted to know if you could explain the difference between a hat bill, uh, other things about hats. Oh, well, this is this is a bill. So this is a bill, and then this would be called a brim. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know. I call it I call it all a a brim. <laughs> I don't know, but it's it's there's not really. I mean, that's basically all it is. And please let us know if you've worked with this yarn before and your feelings about it. And do know uh, we both read all the comments as soon as mm -hmm. we're done. So if you've asked a question that hasn't been answered or just, you know, said hello, yeah. we're going to read that hello. And we really appreciate it. We really <laughs> like hearing from you. I love it. It goes really far. One ball will go really far. What like you get yardage? a lot of distance. I think it's 200. No, it's 187 yards. Yeah. 187 yards. Yeah, there's a good, there's a good dull up in there. I think it would be fun to, do you ever contrast it with just a solid? And you do could. Stripes that way? As long as you, you know, even though it's the number system that it's a four, you know, like Chic Sheep is a four, but I think it's thinner than this. It is. So I think that's the little bit um, hard when you're looking at the number system. Mm -hmm. So that's when I'll get two yarns that'll be the same number, but then say I hold them side by side like this, and I do like what I call the blind test. I hold them side by side and I close my eyes and I rub my hands uh. over them. And if you can distinctly tell that one's smaller or one's mm -hmm. bigger than the other, they probably aren't gonna match up very well. But mm -hmm. if you can't tell, if it's like, oh, those feel exactly the same, yeah. then that's pretty good matchup. Um, so I have not matched them up with a solid yet, but you could. That would look great. Could try it out. Jumping in, Jane Goodwin, thank you, Jane. Uh, <laughs> for jumping in again. She said, cowboy hats had brims, baseball caps had bills, and beanies have cups, I think. Um, thank you so much. Jane is That's explaining the, the difference yes. between the brims and the bills and the, the cuffs. Cuffs. Sounds yes. like um, baseball hats. Have hats. hats. Baseball you know, caps have bills. The really okay. tricky part of being a knitter is when you date a Canadian. <laughs> they and, took? Yeah. <laughs> I traded my first boyfriend, Jason. Hi, Jason. <laughs> uh, who's, I'm sure he's not watching. Um, a, a Canadian broadcast baseball tee for my silver toque. I was 16 years old and I still have it. And I wear it to bed. Interesting. And I think of him. 
I've never, I've never thought too much about a bill, a brim, or a cuff. Um, I mean, I absolutely see the value of it, and I sure. see, I see what she's saying. Yeah. That cowboy hats have, what is cowboy hats have, bills, cowboy hats yeah. have brim, uh, brims. Cowboy hats have brims. Baseball hats have bills. Baseball hats have bills. Um, and beanies have cuffs. cuffs. Beanies have cuffs. Now, uh, to me, a cuff would be if this were doubled over, like it would be a cuff. Yeah. Oh. But that, I mean, that's, I mean, I don't know. There is, I'm sure there is a book there that we could probably yeah. check out and figure yeah. out. I've never really over, I've never thought about it too much. I just, I go with whatever the publication tells me to call sure. it <laughs> that's good to know though that's good to know but there's also just like you said there's all sorts of different types of hats there's mm -hmm. berets there's tams there's toques, well, toques. <laughs> there's um um watch caps you know all sorts of stuff beanies yeah. do you have a favorite kind of cap to stitch i i like mine I don't like them super tight. I like mine a little bit oversized. Mm -hmm. So usually, I mean, I, I know what the number I like to cast on using my size seven needles and my chic sheep yarn. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I know I go until it's about, depends on how I feel. If, if I want it to fit close to my head, I'll go until it's about six and a half, seven inches. Mm -hmm. If I want it a little bit bigger, I'll go to nine inches and then I'll oh. do my decrease. Um, please let us know if you guys have your own special hat pattern. That was the first thing I knit was a hat. Also, really? my dad crochets, and it's the only thing he crochets is hats. Really? He's done a, at least 100 of them. First thing I ever knit were socks. Like, as far as, like... What a, are you, yeah. nuts? No. Like, it, beside, and I'm, I'm talking, like, besides, like, fur scars. Remember when those oh, yeah, fur, yeah, big yeah, fur yeah, scars yeah. were in? Those are it's fun. like, I would just garter stitch those, but the first pattern I ever followed, it, as far as anything, it was socks. I That's loved, amazing. I yeah. I, my first was um, mittens, but I did the thumb inside out. Ah. So it went, <laughs> it went on the other side. I did the the Kitchener stitch inside out, and I told my mom it was yeah. a design feature. I said, <laughs> I was like, um, yeah, it's supposed to look like that. It's a design. She was oh like, gosh. no, it's not. I love the confidence. Yeah, so I totally. That's like. what it's supposed to look like. So then yeah. I had to learn to rip it out, put it back on needles, uh. and do it again. But I learned, and now I know how to do it. I remember my first shawl, I had to restart it 11 times. Oh my gosh. And that's like when I figured out like, A, the meaning of life, <laughs> right? Where you like have to keep going until yes. you figure it out. And B, like what makes knitting so special, because you can mess up 10 times, but the 11th time you might just <laughs> get it. I love that. That's so funny. It was from Weekend Knitting. Do you oh, remember really? that book? I do. Melanie Fallon. Yes. Yes. The perfect pie shawl. She's amazing. Oh. She's amazing. All right. The first shawl I fell in love with, the first boy I fell in love with was Jason from Canada. <laughs> We're doing a lot of firsts today. <laughs> We're covering the territory. I love that. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Folks at home, um, Courtney wants to know, are there any more sample blocks? I need to see the rainbow. Can you show Courtney the shawl, the shifting stripes shawl? The shifting stripes shawl. Okay, we have this one. Beautiful. And then this one doesn't have a name. You guys want to name it? You guys can name it. <laughs> Whatever you want to name the, it. The little one was the super simple shawl. That's this one, yeah. But this one's different because it's a different edging. Oh. And it's double the size. Mm -hmm. So this one is super simple shawl because it, it is How about super, super simple. Super size, super simple Super shawl. size, super simple shawl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that is a great name. <laughs> super size, super simple Thank shawl. Thank you for always supporting me. I Riley. love it. Yes. <laughs> I actually do. I think that's a fun name. The super size, super simple shawl. Super simple shawl. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, the colors. Can Cute. We, the colors are amazing. Cute. I want to see this knit with something. I want to see this knit striped with, like, a chocolate brown. Oh, that would be very pretty. Right? That would be very pretty. It's going to make it happen. I love it. <laughs> what, what are their favorites? All right. I hope by folks at home you mean Jason's writing in. <laughs> well, they're wondering, is Jason your husband? Jason's not my husband, no. <laughs> Jason was my high school boyfriend, and now he's an anesthesiologist. <laughs> he's an <laughs> anesthesiologist? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, um, I want to know about my Jason. My fiancé is Chad, and he's really wonderful and super special, and does not call hat Tooks. That's what won me <laughs> over. He said, I like your hat, and I said, that's it, you're in. That's so funny. I know. Uh, Mary wants to know, do either of you have an interest in modeling the shawl? 
May wants to know, do either of us have an interest in I modeling can't. this show? God bless you, Mary, if you think I can fit into this sweater. I know I tried. That's not going to happen. I usually do decide to impromptu model things, but then I kept getting in trouble for banging my microphone. Yeah. So there you go. I was going to do like a full yeah, you could do that. dramatic wrap. I'm going to button this one up, and I'll put this one back on. I could keep going. I could put on both shawls. You, you could. Okay. <laughs> it is, so it is a little warm in here. Just a little bit. I like this one. I hate when shawls fall off my shoulders, so hopefully I don't hit the microphone. It looks great on you. Yeah. Isn't that? That's so perfect. Right? And it's great with the yeah. coat, because then you button it over. Exactly. It's almost like a jacket. And it doesn't fall off when you have to like put kids in the car or mm -hmm. pick up your purse or stuff. Like mm -hmm. It stays on. Oh, that's the worst, so it yeah. falls in the puddle. Yes. <sighs> so, and they're, they're just, it's just comfortable. I like it. <laughs> what? So, oh no. <laughs> I'm so in love with Faith's family. Scott Hale says, so great to see you two having fun. Um, he also said, I don't think that Jason was the first. Then Jesus Peterson <laughs> says, who is Scott Hale? <laughs> Scott is my dad. Um, dad is commenting saying he doesn't think that Jason was the first boy I fell in love with. Dad, this is my workplace. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell personal secrets here. <laughs> My dad's not on Facebook. Thank God. You're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, thank you everyone so much for joining us, particularly members of my family. And thank you everyone for writing in your questions and for joining us. We will see you on Thursday for a craft-tacular. We're going for one and one half hours. We're doing a whole bunch of different projects, a ton of giveaways. That's so, so fun. And hopefully not too many more secrets about my early love life. Uh, Jesus Peterson just commented, thanks for faith, Scott. Oh. Gene, thanks my dad for me. He, he, thank you, Gene. You're very <laughs> kind. And thank you all of us watching at home. That's cool. Thank you, Marley, for coming in. Thanks. Thanks, thanks guys. Pick up Colorscape. Just one ball. You can it's you amazing. can make this. Amazing. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's warm, right? It's so warm. It's so warm. It's so <laughs> thanks, everybody. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye, guys. <laughs>